Hey everyone, Matt McElroy here. Uh, going to bring you the 2022 in the bag. I've um, never done one of these before, but basically I uh, just wanted to put out what I'm taking into this year, kind of change things up a little bit. Um, took out a lot of my uh, high speed drivers, um, just really because my arm's not that strong and or it's not that fast and uh, I don't really need them. So um, here's what I'm taking in to 2022 season. Starting with my putting putters, I use the classic blend um, Wardens. Uh, I really started using the Wardens a bit last year. Really like the, the lack of bead. It kind of, you know, it gets rid of that uh, that hyzer finish a little bit more. Able to get these a little straight, uh, straighter. The pl classic blend um, just feels really good. Has a, a little give, uh, pretty soft. So when you do, if you do miss, it does, uh, doesn't roll away on you. Um, moving on into the Throwing putters, I carry three with me. I don't have, I'm working on my forehand. Uh, so right now I do use mainly a, a right hand backhand and uh, for that. So um, for my, uh, if I do have to have a little bit of a turn, a turnover approach, I use my deputy. Um, this thing, I mean, even at low speed does uh, have a slight turn to it. This one's kind of beat in right now. Um, great for anything under 150 feet. Uh, nice uh, soft landing here. Doesn't really get too much ground action. It's one of, my, one of my favorite uh, approach shots um, for my kind of more straight or st you know more st stable neutral putters I use the moonshine warden um, I really like again the warden just even for throwing um, this thing dead straight maybe a slight uh, slight turn at the, um, uh, but pretty much if you have a straight shot that uh, within 200 feet this that is coming out um, lastly I think everybody that follows Trilogy or uses Trilogy has one of these in their bags. Uh, this is my VIPX um, uh, harp. I mean, this thing I think I use more often than any uh, one disc, uh, anything under 200 feet that has um, either an open shot or just doesn't require a, a turnover at all. The harp is where I'm going. Um, this plastic's a little firmer. It does get quite a bit of ground action on it. So really, you know, if, if you do, if it's a pretty um, uh, short uh, green you're working with, sometimes it will, you know, switch to either, um, you know, either one of the other putters or even my uh, my putting putter. But basically, uh, for the vast majority of cases, the harp's the way to go. Uh, so that's it for the throwing putters. Let's go into my mid ranges, and right now I've got carrying five mid ranges with me because again, lacking that forehand. I think this will change up a little bit once I get more uh, adept with the forehand. But uh, my go-to understable mid range is the Fuse. Um, great for hyzer flips. Does go perfectly straight if you hyzer flip this up, or if you throw it on flat, which is my normal release. This thing turns over. Um, actually, a pretty delayed turn, so it's really great. Um, for all those, um, you know, uh, left to right um, dog legs. Next up, the old standby, the Emac Truth, just a straight shooter. Um, I carry pretty much most of my discs for being uh, the, the, either the Opto or the uh, uh, Lucid plastic, VIP plastic. Um, I just like the way it feels better and then um, even in the rain it doesn't seem to, to lose its grip quite as much. Um, but the Emac Truth, just a perfect straight shooter. Uh, the one I'm trying out now, new to the bag, is the Emac Truth Fusion X Emac Truth. And it's a little, it's definitely more firm. It definitely is a little more stable. I'm trying to really piece together this and, and the Verdict, which is up next here. Um, both very similar flights. It's really, I'm kind of figuring out which one I like better. They're very, I mean, really just very similar all over. Um, but uh, we're gonna give this one a go this year. Um, kind of and again with what it's fighting against or what I'm trying to figure out the best for me is that versus the verdict this is my uh, lucid X chameleon verdict um, I mean these guys it's just such a great disc it goes re incredibly reliable fade uh, really I mean it's at a late fade very uh, very straight um, for the most part I mean really can't really go wrong with this this disc um, I'm just really having trouble getting rid of it out of the bag so even if I do find that Emac Truth I may just keep this around because it's a little more uh, uh, my go-to um, and then lastly just to round it out for those really uh, is my justice this is just really for those big hooks that I need or spike hyzers um, or if there's just a really big turn that I uh, or really big you know 
turn around the trees that I need. Um, and I have one in my home course, we have one hole in particular where there's a pretty big turn right, you know, like 50 feet off of the, the tee pad. So this guy does get a lot of play. Um, so we'll see how, how this goes, you know, I'm trying again to limit some of the molds, but right now I'm, you know, still in the, the fine tuning here. And that brings me into my drivers. I have all fairway drivers, seven through nine speeds. Um, and again, a lot of overlap here. We're trying to cut it down, but we'll see how things go. Uh, so we'll start with the really the under, understable and with my, kind of my, my seven speeds here. But um, so first one is the underworld. Uh, I really just incredibly understable disc this turns into a roller pretty quickly or really good for hyzer flip but then it's it's going to it's going to fade i mean i'm sorry it's going to turn right um yeah, typically a late turn again since i don't have this forehand it does help a lot on those long straight shots with a with a uh, turn to the right at the end um, next one of the newer ones this came in the uh the last royal box the mall um it's a little more stable than the underworld but it's it's pretty understable it's it's a really good um if you on a hyzer flip pretty good straight shooter um just trying to figure out you know where this is going to go but i just really like the feel of it and i, I put it in the bag just to kind of see um, we're going to do a little more field work kind of decide if i want to keep that in or uh, switch it up because right now the big thing it's overlapping with is this river in particular i do carry two rivers um i actually just got the new Glimmer River, um, the World uh, Championships uh, fundraising river, which is going to be a little more stable. This thing has been beaten in to the point where it is, on a flat release, it is going to turn right. Um, you can hyzer flip it for perfectly straight. So it is. there's a lot of overlap between this and the mall currently. Um, but as uh, I do enjoy the way the river feels a little better, so we're going to see how this one keeps going. Um, and as it keeps getting beat in, I may end up having to ditch the mall again, but, uh, but we'll see. So, and then the new, new river, I mean, this thing is just firmer, brand new out of the box. So haven't even thrown this one yet. Um, but, uh, the river is one of my favorite discs, uh, just for pretty much every shot. It does uh, get a full flight. Um, you get a little turn and then a fade, uh, but pretty much, I mean, you're any, anything where you can go remotely straight or you just have open air to glide through because this thing has a ton of glide, it's going to be my, my go-to. Uh, moving on, um, a little more into the stable category. We start with really what was it, it still is one of my favorite discs. Um, that is the Explorer. Um, for me, for my arm speed, this thing is straight with a very reliable fade at the end. Um, I have a couple different Explorers that I'm going through. I just got the Ricky Explorer as well. We're gonna see um, if that has any more you know, added stability just because it's the Opto Ice, I think is what they call it. So we'll see about that. But right now, um, Explorer's never been out of my bag. It's, it's one of my uh, go-to drivers um, for really any shot. Um, Kind of a little bit of overlap here. I have two evaders. Uh, one is the air, and one is the um, standard. Uh, VI, I'm sorry, lucid plastic. Um, you know, the evader. It has a little more fade at the end, a little more stable, uh, overstable than the uh, the explorers. Um, I ended up this past tournament. I was in. I mean, this past weekend, I was in a tournament. Ended up using these guys more often than not, just because there was a little more wind that the Explorer started to turn on me. Um, so these guys are uh, are staying in the bag, just because it does uh, uh, give a little more um, stability in those high wind areas. Um, next, moving up into more more drivers. Um, for my distance driver, basically, if I if I really need maximum distance and I'm not getting uh, and it's kind of an open area I use the stag um, it does give me a little um, full you know when I get a full flight out of it it goes for days um, you know with a glide of six um, you know it does have a little bit of turn but a, a pretty reliable fade as well very hard to over to turn it over uh, so this one you know that is my, my go-to pure distance driver um, you know around here we have a lot of wooded courses so I don't really break it out too often I did just pick up its brother in the in the, uh, the uh, uh, VIP X plastic we're gonna see how that does it does feel really overstable I haven't really gotten a chance to throw this one yet um, so we'll see if, uh, if that takes over as just the, the distance driver as opposed to the, the standard stag um, and then lastly you can't go wrong with a felon 
Uh, this is the Ricky Orbit Felon, um, in the Fusion Plastic. I mean, this thing, I mean, I had a Fusion at, uh, or a Lucid X, and that thing was just a beefcake. This is a little, gets a little more glide for me, uh, but still, like, I mean, it just, it just fades. This has got a big turn, I mean, a big uh, 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 right to left turn on it. Um, you know, and if there's anything, if I just need stability to get around something or, uh, or just into the wind, this guy's the one to go. So, you know, that's, that's my bag for this year, staying below 10 level, um, speed of 10, uh, just for, to see if, you know, I can keep working on my arm speed. Um, that's really the biggest thing for me is that I just haven't been, uh, I've been kind of ego throwing and haven't gotten quite the right, uh, uh shot shapes that I would like so I'm hoping you know to this year I'm gonna break down some of these molds kind of get more into um, to, you know lower the amount of molds I carry but, uh, but we got a good start here and I'm looking forward to this year so hope you enjoyed it um, and if you are like me and you are kind of uh, type you know sort of that kind of type of person that loves a, a blue you know this is I'm team blue all the way so we'll see how team blue does this year guys take it easy